So, hey everybody, my name is Daniel Kreuter and in this video I would like to uh, present you my newest project. So here you can see the, a blueprint of this Lego character, which I modeled just, uh, to, I don't know, this day and yesterday. And in this video I would like to present you um, some special parts of this of this character which I have modeled um, here in Blender and how I could render it which lightning just some I don't know how to describe it special parts which are not which were not very easy to make so here you can see um, the render one image of my chapter you can see I used here a texture of a face um, for the head and you can also see bind occlusion everywhere around here, here and under the head. And you could just see that I used a bit of um of node editing with the node editor in Blender, just um applied uh I just used an R um RGB curve to change colors a bit. And that's how I rendered it actually. You can see um, here are my notes. Just um, decreased a bit the lightness and red a bit up, green a bit down, and blue a bit down, just to put um, a warm uh, lightning over the whole image. Um, yes, over here. Then here in the world settings, I checked on unbind occlusion uh, with type add. And that's actually it for the render and the lightning. Um, I can show you now uh, which um, textures I used. Um, you can see when you go here to material settings, I just uh, put color in here. And um, here as a texture, I used just something I put together in GIMP. It's just a noise, um, a noise texture with some scratches, and I'm using this as a bump map. Not worry, um, it doesn't affect the model very intense, but it really changes a bit the look of um, those specular points and the the edges. So I just turned this normal value off to 0 0.05. Um, but anyway, I'll show you now what was uh, the hardest thing to do in this model. It was the arm. If you have tried to model it, you will see it's really the hardest uh, point of all of it. And I have to say, I cheated a bit when modeling this part. You can see that the arm is going into the body. It's not really... Um, it's not stopping here where the body begins, which it should do. No, um, but I'm using this model for creating my new um, movie because I'm planning a new movie just uh, about these uh, Lego mans. And I don't really think that I need to turn these arms up, and no one will see that there is something in this model. So I'm just going to leave that. And it's just a, a sphere which I have extruded some um, just to here, and then down here. And um, what else could I say? Um, yeah, for the turntable animation, I used a camera which flies around, and that's just a curve here, a bezier circle, and a camera. I made the camera follow the curve just by selecting this one and then this one and then pressing Ctrl P. And I made the camera always looking to the character to this target in here. Where is it? There is it. Um, you can see when I'm moving this target, the camera moves too. I've made it just by adding an empty object in the middle of this character. And then for the camera, I set up a constraint. Correct you constraint this object. 
Okay, that's it for this video. I think I could describe um, the most uh, important things in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.